And this is KDOR.TV. Hi, it's Karen from KDOR TV. We're downtown in New York City at Webster Hall, and we're here to see Valerie Geffner. She's doing a special Valerie Gallery night. So come on, let's go check her out. So, this is a song I only did one time, like so many years ago. It's such a treat for me to think to do it for you. Let's talk about Hi, darling. I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. So sweet to be with you. A friend of yours dubbed you the Creatrix. Right. What inspires the Creatrix? I love this name, the Creatrix. It resonated with me. There's a lot going on as an artist, and ultimately, I feel grateful to be able to express myself creatively in different ways. Just be in the moment, ride it, yes. connect. I ultimately feel most comfortable in that state. In that you know? flow. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about this journey, the journey that got you to this place. You went to Juilliard, I did. trained there. Yeah. How do you feel that shaped your career? I think the training at Juilliard, just getting through the four years and also playing all the parts I played, I think of the characters, the energies, the scenarios I've had to be that are in my cellular life. So now as a performer, all these experiences that we go through are in us. So I think so that you take and play it and just makes us who we are. Well, I think that's what I love about watching you perform. I can see so many of these characters come through in you and it invites the audience to like, oh, you know, what little world are we being brought into now? <laughs> much always obviously to pick up on and there's so much that we could tune into and Antenna, the album I wrote, is definitely a meditation of being aware and conscious of what you tune into and that album I for sure wrote in a time that it almost wrote itself as I was coming from a sort of shattered place that yeah, Antenna happened because I shattered and, and the songs wrote themselves as I found myself. And shattered really... as far as where your life was going? Your... Yeah, just, it got to be so much. At a certain point, sometimes I think, you have to fall, or there's sometimes when you get most lost and open, and you start finding yourself. It's like a rebirth. Yeah. introduce you to Josephine and she is the proprietress of my favorite late night early morning 
sometimes late afternoon. Hunger attack, please. <laughs> um, the most awesome tacos ever. Josephine, <laughs> hi. Hi, how are you? How did you start the first Taco Shack? I know it was quite a while ago. Well, I was working in the, I'm an artist, and I worked in the film industry. I was actually shooting videos for Lifetime Channel, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then I went to Washington State, was skiing and broke my leg and I came back and then at 9-11 it just happened right before that. Okay. And so everything was just sort of like, it was ah! just like a white, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, there was this little shack slapped to the side of this place on Avenue B and I saw and I told the guy from Yemen that, oh, you should sell soup from here. And I was like, no, you should sell soup from here. And it's like, well, you know what? I'll sell tacos from here. Cool. And so, like, literally within 30 days, I was open, limping, mind you, I had a broken leg. Right. <laughs> um, open the taco shack. When I first came in here, what I loved is that the music was rock and roll, there was visuals, it was three o'clock in the morning, and I right. would have an awesome taco. Right. And that's really what it well, comes that's, down to, people. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's meant to be a place that you can enter without pretense and order amazingly made food, handmade by all the people who work here. You walk in and hopefully you're listening to an awesome song and you order a taco and the taco like blows your mind and you can come sit down here in the you know, hand painted banquettes and chill out and then leave and throw your paper plate in a garbage can and that was your minute of reprieve from the stresses of New York City. Well, Justin, thank you so much. This is awesome. <laughs> and, you know, bring on the tacos. Keep it happening. We okay. love it. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs>